What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It is once again me, me the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you with this special edition of OTR. That's right, I am back on the road today to check out a burger that will cap out the year's contestants for Snack Society Burger of the Year. What will it be? Well, I think it might be quite kingly if you ask me. I'll be right back right after this to sink my teeth into something western that's kind of stacked right after this on OTR. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have not been hiding anywhere. I've just been laying in the weeds, if you will, right here at Burger King at the corner of Germantown Road and Middlebrook Road here in Germantown, Maryland. They're actually calling this Germantown Road, so that's legit there. And this Burger King you've seen me review at before is generally not very busy, even though they spent a lot of money on remodeling the inside. Uh, just not a lot of business, even right around lunchtime. I know it's kind of in the middle of the holidays, and sometimes businesses are not quite as, you know busy right after Christmas, but uh, I don't know. Seemed kind of desolate in there to me. Today, I am here to add to the list of potential Burger of the Year candidates with one of their brand new burgers. No, it's not the Bacon King. What this one is called is the Rodeo Stacker King, and apparently this was tested earlier in the year, and the tests went well. That's why it got a nationwide review or rather release at the beginning of the month here and now you're getting a review from me me the bre what do you know and let me go ahead and get this thing out of the package and show you what it entails look at this monstrosity will you i mean first of all it's a very heavy situation just to pick up but just looking at this thing in general it is gigantic let me see if i can't turn this around for you a little bit there you go show you a little more of what's going on in this fully involved situation you have your toasted sesame seed bun of course uh topping this thing off and of course giving it its bottom as well uh looks nice and to toasty and golden brown but what you've got inside is what makes this thing the rodeo stacker king starting over here you see a generous helping of that yellow gooey stacker sauce uh, that goes on the stacker burger. Then you got some of the rodeo stuff over here with the crispy onion rings and barbecue sauce. So two different sauces on this thing. So it's going to be a messy, messy situation. A couple of slices of thick cut smoked bacon. You got a couple of big old beef patties in there. Two slices of American cheese. And I think that's about it. But what else do you need? $7.39 for the double version of this. It also comes in a single and a triple. Price is adjusted accordingly. All right, guys, I'll be right back right after this to try to put this thing in my mouth and let you know if it's worthy of being a Burger of the Year candidate here on this special edition of OTR. All right, gang, I'm back here on this special edition of OTR. What we're doing here today is assembling the final contestants for burger of the year which shall be announced next week and ladies and gentlemen i wanted to try to put one more contender in there because in order to be a contender this year you have to have gotten four or rather a full thumbs up here on snack society otr and not that many burgers did this did that this year and i'll tell you those later on and I'll tell you if this burger joins that lucrative list as well, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go ahead and show you this thing next to my noggin the way I always do. It's already fallen apart. Part of the crown of the bun just kind of ripped off unceremoniously. I put it back on for you, though, so I can give you Snack Society in full effect. All right. So, show you that thing a little bit more closely there as well. That's a massive, monstrous burger. I'm sure this is in the... 12 to 1400 calorie uh, range. I don't even want to look and find out. I've been trying to eat a little bit better lately, you know. Not that much better, mind you, but a little bit. All right, let me go ahead and take a bizite out of this and let you know what I think about it. Bacon first. <laughs> well, that was a lot to process, guys. Um, wow. 
lot of stuff going on there. Dare I say too much? Um, I mean, all of the ingredients tasted fine. But I had to take four or five really big bites and centralize them in different areas to get a little bit of everything and just about every kind of combination you could possibly get of all the flavors that this burger offers. So with that said, go ahead and build this thing from the bottom to the top the way we always do. This uh, toasted sesame seed bun, not so toasted because it has no crunch to it. It's fairly basic and honestly not quite up to the job of holding this burger together. So starting to have a little erosion of the, uh, of the base for sure. And definitely you saw that the crown was already falling apart. So, um, while it tasted fine, the bun was not really spectacular in any way, shape, or form. All right, so getting to the more basic things here. We've got those two big beef patties. Uh, one of the strengths of Burger King's line, of course. Um, nice and beefy, have that char or uh, flame-grilled taste that they spray on there or whatever they do with it. I know they do technically cook it over an open fire grill thing like conveyor belt but uh yeah it does it, it does they do their job you know putting that flavor together and it's pretty decent and juicy um they've gotten out of the era where they used to make things really gray and dry they did that for a while finally stopped that and you get a pretty good burger out of that so the two pieces of cheese complement that perfectly of course cheeseburgers are great right absolutely fantastic so Let's get to all the superfluousness here of this burger, and uh, that would include the thick-cut smoked bacon, which was the very first thing I took a bite of because it was sticking right out of the burger like it was a pterodactyl leg or something like that. And it was hard, but not crunchy, I guess you would say, or crispy. Um, I guess that's the effect of it being thick-cut, gives you more of like a a beef jerky type composition to it, even though it's pork. You get what I'm saying. But it tastes good, has a nice smoky flavor, adds to the beefiness of the burger, and, uh, or complements it pretty well anyway. And it has its place, you know, on the burger probably. Uh, you've got your uh, Burger King crispy onion rings, which by this point were not that crispy, but an onion does complement a burger, once again, the beef flavor and the onion go pretty well together. So, again, no no, no complaints there. Here's where we start running into some stuff, though, guys. There's two different sauces on this burger. Barbecue sauce, a very dark, thick, I would guess molasses-based barbecue sauce because it's sweet. And you've got your stacker sauce, which is also kind of sweet. So you got two kind of sweet sauces working on this burger. Um, I don't know if that was the best way to go with it. Maybe a sweet sauce and a spicy sauce, a sweet sauce and a savory sauce. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more smoke to the uh, to the barbecue sauce in this case. But I guess it's just the regular, you know, barbecue sauce that they use on their rodeo burgers, which I forget what it is nowadays. I know it used to be bullseye, but maybe it's sweet baby rays now. I'm not sure because everybody seems to have made that switch. I don't know why. Uh, you know, marketing is a bitch, right? Anyhow, um... So, you know, those things kind of bounce off parts of the burger okay, but then they blend together and have kind of an odd, funky flavor to them that doesn't always complement everything else altogether at the same time either. Like, you know, the barbecue sauce certainly works well with the onion rings and the beef. And the stacker sauce works well with the beef and the bacon. But... They don't both work together well with everything else when combined. So that's what the drawback is of this burger. That's why I cannot give it anything higher than a three-quarters thumbs up, which is going to keep it out of the finals. It's not, not a finalist for Snack Society Burger of the Year. Quite sorry that is the case, but there are some finalists for that burger, and you get to vote as to what is the Snack Society Burger of the Year. Over the next week, go to the Snack Society Facebook group, join the group if you haven't already. Link is down in the description below. And you get to vote on the finalists for Burger of the Year. And they include McDonald's McExtreme Bacon Burger, 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it includes Fuddruckers Lucy Juicy and the last finalist of Burger of the Year for the Snack Society is the Checkers Texas Garlic Texas Texas Toast Garlic Bread Burger that was put out sometime earlier in the year. Um, I'll make sure I have the proper title of that down there and while well, I'm yammering at you. Anyway, this has been fun, guys. So fun to be back here. Make sure you get to the Snack Society Facebook group and, uh, you know, make your selection. What do you think is the burger of the year? You can even tell me what you think is the burger of the year outside of those three. But those are the three that I found to be the best over this past year. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. F Facebook page as well. Hit me up on the Twitter machine at Brandon Reich SAS. Patreon is still running, um, even though I haven't done a, an extra mile in a while. There's going to be one for you right after this on the Patreon page, and it will be F-R-E-E -E free, F-O-C free of charge, fuck, if you will, for everybody today. So go ahead and click on that link to the Patreon page, watch the video, extra mile, uh, New Year's Eve edition, and I'll just let you know some things that are going on in my life and part of the reason why I just haven't been around much lately. So anyway, this old gray-haired hippie is going to go ahead and relax for another week. Probably be back next week with another special edition to let you know what is the burger of the year and more. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell to be notified. In the meantime, in between time, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.